Hey guys, it's Shu here from TechRow, and today we're going to be doing a scripting tutorial, scripting tutorial number three, and this is called the movie texture uh, one. So if you're an indie developer and you're making a game and you want to have a cutscene, this is how you code it. So let's get started. Here we are guys in the uh, Unity interface and as you guys can see, if you guys do know that I'm making a video game called Gravity Jump, this is just my uh, folder for Gravity Jump. Anyway, so let's just do it. So I've already created the uh, script folder area, it's called Movie Texture. First thing you're going to want to start off is make a variable and call it move and then text, have your colon and call it movie texture and then put a semicolon and save it. After that take out the function update because we won't need that. And anyways, let's see, okay, move text movie texture. Okay, got that all right. And anyways, after that, what we're gonna be doing, okay, so if I, if you want me to explain this, so the move for variable. What's the variable? It's called movie text. So you can put like move text and it will recognize it without saying this is not recognized because you already put in the variable. Then you got a movie texture is like an object basically. So you got your movie texture. So it's called a movie texture, and you have to drag in a file that's under basically movie texture. So basically, yeah. Anyways, so the next thing you're gonna want to do is a render. I think you gotta do tab. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I gotta do tab first. Okay, you gotta do renderer dot material. Oh, sorry, dot um main texture equals move texture okay so main texture equals move texture and it's in cool anyways so here it is as you guys can see this is just saying that the renderer and material so you have your uh so going to move let's just say here so you got your material file uh let's see yeah you kind of got your material file here this is not my material but the material file is right there okay you got your material file, and that's the uh, material. Then the renderer is the mesh render, okay? So, or another renderer that's you, another renderer that basically allows you can that you can see the file. Anyway, so we we'll go here, render dot material dot main texture, meaning by the main texture of the whole thing is supposed to be the movie texture. So it applies your movie texture to the video, basically. Anyway, so the next thing we gotta write after that is called the move text dot play pretty sure it's this and that so let me just make sure yeah okay so that's all guys that's the basic script that you gotta write now I'm gonna show you guys how you actually do the script so you got your uh, movie text right here you can either create yourself a cube as you guys can see and I got myself my cube which can possibly just be my uh we can rescale this thing and that's in the game view okay Put the camera to orthographic so you can see it all and uh, get out of the 2D mode and see where that camera is. Oh, okay, makes sense. It's actually there. You have to move it back and let's go to game, okay? And uh, rotation, no, my own rotation. Anyways, you guys can see the camera over here. And it's probably best to move this down, pretty sure. Okay, if I just go here, and I'll just do it. Okay, I don't remember. Okay, yeah, all right here, okay. Hmm, where's that cube? Okay, so then let's position this over here. Better position this. Again, here it is. Lower than the actual cube. I think we can just change the Z there. So, so see here in 2D mode. We got this. Oh yeah, you just uh, edit this in 2D mode. It's totally good then. Yeah. Just go down a bit and we can choose. Oh, yeah, choose the main camera and the y axis. We can move this down. 
in the X, we can move it over. The Z, we can move it out so it actually sees the file. Until it's so far away. Let's just keep on going in a bit more. Okay, that's good. Anyways, so guys, now we just gotta apply our movie text thingy here. That's it. And then we got our final cutscene, which is right over here. Sure. No, no, no. Uh, if I just delete this, I see it right here. So we just gotta apply this in the audio listener. There's nothing. Okay, uh, the main camera, it has an audio listener. So we should be applying the final cuts and sound right here too. So anyways. Looking at the thing. Okay, so there's no renderer, but the script is trying to Okay, let's just see what do we have to add. There's anything in the audio I think. Okay, so as you guys can see, there we go. Okay, so it's got an audio source. Oh, right, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, sorry, guys, I screwed up here. And I have to go on the queue. I'm so sorry about that. I gotta apply the movie text scan on here. Put the cutscene in there. Put the sound also in here. And the main camera does not have anything. We can just add the audio listener, and now let's see. Okay, guys, so that's how you do it. Okay, guys, so you can, of course, reposition everything way better than what I did here. Um, anyways, so you were trying to do a cutscene type of thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's also the other one where it's like uh, you do like else, I'm pretty sure, so it's like. Mm. It was like an if statement, like if new text dot play new text dot stop. I think it's stop. You gotta write, and then it's like yeah, like that, and then you gotta like do some like application dot load level like maybe level in one and then just save that let me just see what happens the script's probably gonna yeah it's expecting hmm start to this Oh, makes sense. Okay, so I'll have this in another video, guys, on updated. Anyways, so guys, that's all for today's video. Subscribe if you guys like the uh, video, and tell me in the comments what you want next as the next scripting tutorial, what you guys want to see next, because I'm kind of running out of ideas, so please tell me in the description below what will help you. Anyways, if this helped you out, like the video and subscribe if you're new to the Techo channel. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. What the? Ermagerd car crash.